Pokemon Gold Glitch. I'm an avid Pokemon fan, so when I finally got my hands on Pokemon Gold version, I was thrilled. I noticed though that since it was an old hand-me-down that the battery inside had drained and save files couldn't be created anymore. But I couldn't wait to try it and started a new game anyway. The graphics were great compared to the blue version I had and I was really happy and just filled with excitement. I picked a Cyndaquil that I nicknamed Thorn, don't ask me why though, and loved him to pieces. I named my rival Ben, just as I always do, and defeated him in our first battle with ease, accrediting it to my partner more than my battle skills. Everything was going great. I loved this game and loved all of my Pokemon, but uh, in the back of my mind, I still remember that all of this would soon end, and the battery wouldn't last forever. I hated the idea of losing my team after all we had been through together and accomplished. I had a female Fluffy named Cotton, a male Pidgeotto named Ace, a male Ghastly named Spooky, a female Sentret named Maddy. When the inevitable happened and the little red light on my Game Boy Color began flickering, I took a deep breath and looked my team over for the last time. I gave each of my Pokemon a goodbye. I looked at my partner the longest, a strong young Kilava finally, and started to tear up in the moment. I get attached to my Pokemon. Fawn, I'm sorry I did this. I should have waited to fix the cartridge before all of this happened. Forgive me, partner. Goodbye. I shed a little tear knowing all of the tough battles and happy moments had gone to waste and turned off the game. That night I went to bed as normal after the incident. Turning off my lamp I hopped into my warm soft bed and closed my eyes. Wait. Something was wrong. I tossed and turned, fidgeted, repositioned my pillow and shut my eyes tight. Nothing. I couldn't sleep. But why? Something just wasn't right. The feeling of my normally relaxing room, it was gone. An odd hair hung silently, almost pulling me. I sat up in the darkness and saw very, a small, very faint flickering red light in the corner of my eye. So I pushed back my blankets and forgetting the lamp, began to began to shuffle across the floor, but I stopped. A squirming in my gut told me not to move another inch. Something was really wrong here. Chills ran down my spine like ice. And that was when I heard it. A distorted Pokemon's cry, sounding like it was coming in through a poor quality TV channel. I rubbed my eyes and looked panicking around my dark room. The red light was gone. I decided I had been sleepwalking and found my bed again, and I heard it again, this time lower pitch, closer. I sat bolt upright, eyes wide, who's there? No answer, until you left, a shocking, barely audible voice, like rustling leaves, you abandoned me. I gasped in fear, heart fatting again my chest. I could see nothing, nothing except that little, little red light again. I realized it was a reflection of, of my mirror and found the source, my bedside table. I had put my Game Boy on it. Picking it up weakly, I looked at the dim, flickering light, the screen too flickered. That wasn't right, the Game Boy Color had no light to its screen, just pixels but it lit briefly a pale blue and went black once more. I stared numbly at it while my heart continued to hammer. The voice returned, a little clearer than before but still faint. It's okay, I forgive you, partner. It seemed to come from everywhere at once, the hair on the nape of my neck stood on, the, on end, and suddenly I saw a pair of cloudy, pale blue eyes, 
directly in front of mine. They had no pupils, no shine. They were just dull. I screamed, scooting backward against my headboard in fear. I forgive and now can be together, he said, as an icy sensation swept over me. I could barely breathe, a pain fled somewhere inside my chest, and as those dead eyes stared into my soul, blackness crept into the edges of my vision. As the last of my consciousness drifted out of reach, that morbid static voice rang in my ears. I will be with you now, with you forever. When I finally woke up, I was in my pajamas. My bed sheets twisted up around my sweet, soaked body. I looked around my room in silent red for those haunting eyes, but they were nowhere to be seen. Hey, I know it's Saturday, but are you going to wake up at all? Came my brother's voice from the hallway. I sighed, my shaking hands unfurling the blanket. It was all just a dream. Still, I couldn't help thinking about what happens to Pokemon after you erase the game file. I still felt sorry about it. I hopped out of my bed and made for the hallway, smiling at my own fear. In the corner of my eye, I saw it. My Kilava, in the reflection of my full left mirror. He smiled this cold, dead smile. And when I looked back, he was gone. I will be with you now, with you, forever.